Hello! Welcome back to Module 8 of Setting Up a Journal with OJS 3.0. This is Unit 2 of Website Settings – Information. We're still in the Website Settings module on the dashboard, and in this unit, we'll be looking at how you can edit the targeted user content contained in the information block. We begin back on our journal homepage. If you'll recall Unit 1 of this module, one of the settings we manipulated was the content of the sidebar. The content block currently at the top of our sidebar is called the Information Block, and it contains pages of targeted information for readers, authors, and librarians. In this unit, we're going to go over how to customize the information on these pages. In the top right corner, access your dashboard. Hover over Settings in the left navigation and select Website. From the tabs along the top of the page, select the second tab, Information. Editing the Information section is very straightforward. The section audience heads the rich text editing boxes, and the boxes are pre-populated with a default message aimed at the common needs of that audience. If the default text serves your purposes, there's no need to make any changes, but you are welcome to customize this text or even replace it entirely if that's what best serves your journal. The For Readers section discusses how readers can create registered accounts and some of the benefits of doing so. You'll want to edit this text if your journal requires reader accounts or subscriptions to access your content. If you're going to hyperlink from this page to content elsewhere, make sure you test the links. The For Authors section contains broad information about submitting to the journal. The default is fairly short, redirecting authors to the author guidelines and relevant content we've already input onto different pages of the website. You can include more detailed information here if you'd prefer to. Just make sure to remember to update any duplicated information on this page if you make changes to this content elsewhere on your website in the future. The For Librarians section contains information about how librarians can include your journal in their catalogs and holdings. This is also a great place to include information and contacts for institutional subscriptions if your journal requires subscriptions. When you're happy with your content, click Save. Your changes will go live on your website immediately. These pages can be edited or updated at any time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next unit.